Hello, it's me, Marty D. Donovan, the Broadcast Ninja. Now I'm here to, to I'm here to give you fair warning uh, how to stay on uh, how to stay on the best side of a radio station that you broadcast on. Now, if you go to work for a radio station, um, they will probably have um, some streams, not just the one stream, but some streams, and they will allocate you with a stream. OK, so you would then go and set up your stream accordingly. But there's uh, there's one or two things. So but there's there's one really, really bad mistake you could make. OK, and let's just go over to our Sam broadcaster and have a look. Here's our Sam broadcaster with our. Um, uh, categories that we made up, but that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about you go to work for um, a, a radio station and they say to you, um, okay, you can have a stream. It's at 21, 217.223.2.34 uh, and say port um, 3428 say that's it okay and they might say to you the broadcast password password is p a 55 w 0 r d believe me some people do do it um right so they might say to you this is your this is your login information and you think okay i'm going to log into my um log into my uh my, my new stream so i'll click on new stream um i want it to be mp3 lame yes please here uh so what i want is it to be 128 kilobytes that might be what it is stereo and then what you do is you look over here and you think uh auto start encoder after five seconds yep because if it stops i want it to automatically start or it says auto reconnect encoder after 15 seconds and you've got that already clicked as standard it comes default well let me tell you sunny jim when you're given a stream you're given a form of um uh you're given a for, they, they they're giving you the sort of like we trust you to be competent with our details um and therefore you don't click um, auto start encoder you don't click that and you take off auto reconnect the encoder after 15 seconds and I'll tell you why if we go back to our three stream method where you have the output stream and you have DJ1 stream and DJ2 stream and you're on DJ2 stream and DJ1 stream is playing at the moment and you start playing and they transition over so you're now playing and you're about to do two hours show on DJ2 stream where DJ1 stream is going to come back in. That's perfect. So you, you, you swap over, you turn off the encoder and uh, walk away from your PC. It's been done. Now you want a cup of tea. You've just done a show and, and DJ2 is, and the other DJ stream is playing, which was, comes on after you, that's fine. But every 15 seconds, your stream is going to be trying to, dis, to connect to your stream one or stream two, whichever one I said you were on. Every 15 seconds, it's going to be trying to connect. It will get, um, if it's being used, it will get code error 200. Um, but if it isn't being used, it will keep waiting, keep waiting. And DJ 2 is playing and your DJ 1 will auto connect. So you're connected to the auto uh, DJ 1 stream again. After 15 seconds, you've walked away and it's reconnected to your stream. But the DJ stream 2 is playing. It doesn't matter. It, you don't hear nothing because the other stream is playing. It's not con it's not playing your stream. It's swapped over from your stream. Uh, so DJ 2's playing and it's getting on spiffingly and everyone's just happy because the station's going through its motions. But you've now reconnected 
to your stream. So your stream will stay connected. And then what happens is the show after you comes off and your stream goes live again because that's how it's set up to work because the next DJ is meant to connect to your stream one, but he can't. He's getting error code 200 because stream one is already in use because you've automatically connected to it 15 seconds after you walked away from your from your disk, from your computer. And you might now be asleep, you might be out with your friends or wherever you are, but your computer is connected to that stream. And that stream is now dormant because whatever you've left playing on your computer is what's now playing over the air. And the people whose station it is then has to rewrite another script to bring that um, encoder out of the game and the other encoder into the game and then readjust every stream after that in order for it to work. It's a bit of a headache. It's what they might call in the trade a ball ache. Um, so when you're setting up your streams, okay, unless it's your stream, if it's not your stream, disconnect these two here. You really don't want that mistake. It's happened to me. I've walked away. I've gone to work that night getting a call on my Facebook telling me my, my internet is still connected to the stream and the other DJ can't connect now because I'm there. So they have to give him another IP to connect. Oh, it's, it's, not, it's not professional. So just remember, um, disconnect, auto reconnect and disconnect, auto start encoder. You don't want them and then carry on. <sighs> with your show. That's it. Just an idea. Throw that in there. You don't want to make that mistake. How do I know about it? Well, I've made that mistake more times than I care to imagine. Um, I'm not saying I'll never make it again, but I try to keep my eye on it as best I can. I am the Broadcast Ninja. Thank you so much. I hope you found this a little bit helpful. Um, if you have, don't forget comments in the comments and don't forget to click thumbs up please. And uh, I don't need any fancy graphic coming on the screen with a thumbs up. I'm sure you know where thumbs up is. Um, and uh, I will be back with another video very soon. Soon? Is, sh is soon a word? Soon is the word I'm looking for. And I'll be back with it. I'll see you. Bye-bye.